To decode German signals, engineers built the first electronic brain known as Colossus. It was the father of the modern computer. Dorothy Sands was one of the Wrens who operated the 1500 valve apparatus. I was sent to Bletchley Park to work on the Colossus computer. In this huge room, with these the massive machines with wheels and valves and cogs. And it looked rather like a, a machine that a madman would invent. Uh, it hummed and clicked and ticked over, and it was very warm. We threaded the tapes up, and there was a, a mechanical typewriter, which we sat on high stools, and, and which printed out jargon all the time. It didn't mean anything to us at all. And then, if we were lucky, and the actual code tape came up right, then you'd get pure German through on the typewriter, which was always exciting. I've seen the programmers cry, and of course, it, we, we didn't really know what it was all about, but we were excited too, we knew that we were helping. With the war over, scientists at Cambridge and Manchester went on developing the computer from the top secret Colossus. After the early research machines, the first one built for office use anywhere was commissioned by a London cake and tea shop company, Lyons, in 1950. Despite the large numbers of clerks employed today, sufficient clerks are still hard to find. With full employment, the security of clerical work does not offer the old attraction. But trade is becoming more competitive, so clerks are in even greater demand to provide statistics from a mass of data so that management can grasp the changing factors and act accordingly. To fulfill this modern need came LEO, the first automatic office in the world. Electronic computers are not new, but LEO was the first designed for office work. Since 1953, it has been employed regularly on accounting, stock and cost control, statistics, and of course, payroll. I moved into the, the Lions computer operation, which was called LEO, uh, uh, for Lyons Electronic Office. I was overwhelmed by what I saw. These computers were huge. Uh, the complexity of them was staggering. I guess uh, you've probably seen these science fiction movies where there's just lights everywhere, you know, and all the walls flashing and everything. Well, they really were like that. They, they were just 20 foot long corridors of uh, electronics with thousands of lights flashing all over them. And th it seemed amazing that uh, they were within the, the power of an individual to even understand at the time, you know. It really did work rather better than we expected, and uh, our confidence in it built up gradually so that we were able to um, assure the management that if they started relying on it to do payroll every week, that uh, people would in fact get paid, and, and they never, never failed to get paid. <laughs>